According to the American Cancer Society, lymphoma starts in the cells found in the immune system. The two types of lymphoma are Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. These types of lymphomas differ in how they behave, spread, and respond to treatment, so it is important to tell them apart. Doctors can usually tell the difference between Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma by looking at the cancer cells under a microscope or with sensitive lab tests. Risk factors for Hodgkin's lymphoma are a family history of lymphoma, if you are male, a weakened immune system, and past Epstein-Barr infections. Hodgkin's lymphoma is one of the most curable forms of cancer. Some risk factors for non-Hodgkin lymphoma are medications that suppress your immune system, infection with certain viruses and bacteria such as HIV, exposure to certain chemicals, and older age. Hodgkin's lymphoma is the rarer of the two as it only accounts for about 10 cases in the United States. According to the U.S. National Cancer Institute, there are nearly 20 cases of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma per every 100,000 people in the U.S. Um, with Hodgkin's lymphoma, it's around three cases in every 100,000 people as it's more rare. In 2014, there are expected to be approximately 80,000 new cases in the United States. Hodgkin's lymphoma starts in the lymph system, usually in the lymph nodes. The lymph system is the system in the body that helps fight off infections and other diseases. It's made up of lymph vessels, lymphs, lymph nodes, and other parts of the body such as the tonsils, thymus, and spleen. Lymph tissue can also be found in the stomach, skin, and small intestine. People afflicted with lymphoma will notice swelling in the neck, armpits, and groin that refuses to go away. Other sim symptoms that they may experience are abdominal pain or swelling, chest pain, coughing or trouble breathing, fatigue, night sweats, and weight loss. Lymphoma is a blood cancer that affects your lymphatic system, and your lymphatic system removes excess fluids from your body and produces immune cells. And your immune cells are white blood cells and the white blood cells are found in lymph fluid. So if your body is producing abnormal white blood cells and abnormal lymphocytes, it impairs your immune system because all of these cells are collecting in your lymph nodes and it's pretty much useless to fighting off uh, infections, bacteria, and unwanted waste.